Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Once you are logged in, search for Kubernetes engine. Click on this. Go to action. Connect. Run in the cloud shell. This will open the cloud shell for you. Click continue. In the cloud shell, you will see a command like this. Simply hit enter, click authorize. Now go to the description of this video. You will find a link of my GitHub repository. Copy these commands from this repo and run them in the cloud shell. Now please pay attention. We have to copy the token and our token starts before this student. So copy the token very carefully and save it in a new tab go back to the file copy these commands run them for the token copy your saved token and paste it one more thing this token will not be visible to you so simply paste it and hit enter just wait for few seconds for the external IP to be created Now copy this external IP and save it in a new tab. We need this external IP to solve this lab. So save this IP very carefully and search for compute engine. Open this. Minimize the cloud shell and you will see these instances. Now click on the SSH for the Jenkins. Then click on the SSH for the juice shop. Now how to identify which SSH window is for which instance. Now if you will look closely, you will find the instance name in every SSH window. So this window is for the juice shop. And this one is for Jenkins. This is the way how to identify which SSH window is for which instance. Now we need the external IP for the Kali instance. So click on this icon. Click external IP. Then OK. Now expand your cloud shell. And press Ctrl plus C. Go back to the lab. And copy this command. Paste it in the cloud shell. Then copy the external IP for the Kali instance. Paste the IP. Hit enter. Let me just expand this. Now type YES. Hit enter. For the password you have to type KALI. All the alphabets are in the lower case. One more thing the password will not be visible to you. So simply type it and hit enter. Now go back to the lab and copy this command. Open your notepad. Paste the command. We will make some changes in this command. If you remember, we have saved the external IP in this new tab. Copy it and carefully remove this thing. Then paste the IP, copy the whole command and run it in the cloud shell. Run the same command in the Jenkins SSH. Run the same command in the juice shop. Now let's go back to the lab and see what we have to do next. Now carefully copy this URL. Open a new tab in the incognito window. Copy your IP. Paste it and from the lab copy the remaining URL. Don't include this full stop. Paste it, hit enter. Click on advance. Proceed. For the username type admin and for the password go back to the lab and copy this password. Paste it. 
click on create account now we need the license key go back to the cloud shell and open a new tab for the cloud shell and from the lab copy this command paste it hit enter again pay attention we have to copy our license key and our license key starts before this student so copy the license key very carefully simply paste it in the prisma cloud click register you will see interface like this go to manage then defenders open the deploy section click on this advance then proceed okay now for this first option choose the external ip this is the same external ip which we saved in the new tab you can simply recheck this for the second option you have to choose the host defender linux now copy this command go to the cloud shell and move to the first tab paste the command hit enter for password type k a l i all in the lower case hit enter open the ssh for the jenkins paste the same command hit enter open ssh for the juice shop paste the same command hit enter now you can go back to the lab and check the progress simply skip the task number 5th and task 6th move to the 7th task then copy this rule name go to prisma cloud open the defend then run time go to the host policy then add a rule paste the rule name that we copied for the host choose all of these three now move to the processes make this effect to prevent for the prevented processes go back to the lab and copy this paste it hit enter now move to the networking section scroll down enable the dns make effect to prevent for the domains copy the domain from the fifth point paste it and click on save okay now go back to the lab scroll down a bit copy this fourth command go back to the cloud shell and run the command you will see this type of output now simply go back to the prisma cloud monitor then events click on the host audits now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task this will take 3 to 4 minutes this will take 3 to 4 minutes you will get a green tick for this task once the output is generated in this section so you have to simply wait for 3 to 4 minutes and eventually you will get the green tick now copy this name again go to defend then run time move to the host policy click add rule paste the rule name go to log inspection scroll down for the log path copy this paste it hit enter and click on add rule click save now go back to the cloud console and minimize the cloud shell copy the external ip for this juice shop open a new tab type http colon double forward slash paste the ip hit enter and you will see interface like this simply go back to the lab and copy this command now run this command in the ssh window for the juice shop 
copy this rule name go back to the prisma cloud click add rule paste the rule name go to activities tab and enable the docker commands and click on save copy this command and open the ssh window for the jenkins paste the command hit enter copy this next rule name click add rule paste the rule name go to file integrity tab click on add rule now for the path copy this path paste it now select these options write read then metadata scroll down click add file integrity rule then save it now you can go back copy this command open the ssh for the jenkins paste it hit enter now we have to make some changes in this name server so carefully remove this first then from the lab copy this simply paste it by pressing control plus v then press control plus x then y then hit enter and this will save your changes now you can simply check the progress for the last task 